Broken Rainbow, Joe speaking. I'm the Managing Director of Broken Rainbow UK. Um, we're a domestic violence charity and we're the only national charity that helps LGBT people who are victims or perpetrators or survivors of domestic violence. Last Tuesday we had a woman who was locked in a bathroom with cracked ribs and a bleeding nose while her partner was trying to get into the bathroom door um, on online chat trying to get help and trying to find out what she should do. I came out to my parents in the same conversation where I told my father I wasn't going to go to Oxford and follow his footsteps and follow him into the university that he wanted me to go to. And I went against all the advice my parents gave me and all their wishes and went into social work. I was 18. Um, I trained when I was 23, became qualified and I went and worked for an organisation about 10 years after that. They came to me and said, we've heard you're really good at what you do, we want you to come and work for us because we've got some really difficult young people that need some help. I went and worked for them and I've always been out about my sexual orientation at work um, and after about six months there was clearly a issue with the other staff I was working with around the fact that I was gay. Um, they would make inappropriate comments and they would do and say stuff that wasn't okay and I'd just ignore it. Um, and then a young woman came to work to live in the organisation who was quite unwell and was a what we call a prolific self-harmer. So somebody that cut themselves very badly, had over 370 scars on her body from cutting um, and was struggling with her sexual orientation and who she was and I was asked to work with her and I worked with her and she stopped self-harming for a little while and so my colleagues felt that the only reason she had stopped self-harming was because of what I must have done with her which was not natural <laughs> um, and therefore the organisation suspended me um, and then fired me for being gay. Um, sadly the young woman felt that that was her fault and went to the top of a car park and jumped off of it. She is alive um, but she's a paraplegic and is in a wheelchair. I love working here because we make a difference every every day to somebody um, and, and whether that is um, a service user that needs to use our service or whether that's a colleague or a partner who we train and give information and further knowledge to um, we know we make a difference because like this morning I've sitting in the cab coming to the office and my Twitter feed got a message from someone saying thank you I used your service last week and I'm in a much safer place so you know that always makes you feel good that you're making a difference to somebody else's life. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.